$50 million is how much you could lose if you don't understand this. This was the piece of knowledge that could have saved the Radiant Protocol. The Radiant Protocol signed a safe multi-sig transaction without verifying it on their hardware devices. When initializing a transaction on the safe UI, once we hit sign, our wallet will pop up to help us confirm. It'll give us a hash of the transaction that signing this is gonna send. Now the UI will give us some advanced details and give us that hash right here, which should match what we see in our hardware wallet. However, we want to make sure we don't trust the UI and actually verify the hash is what we expect it to be. Using the Cypherinit Safe TX hashes repo, we can run a script to manually verify this hash ourselves. Running dot slash address and passing in the address of our multisig wallet, the network, the nuns, and since we're initializing this transaction, we'll also add dash dash untrusted. Hitting enter, we'll see the manually calculated safe transaction hash at the bottom of our script. This uses the safe API to calculate this, but the repo also has instructions for how to do it without trusting the safe API. Once we get this, we can compare it to what we see in our hardware wallet. And if they match up, we can be assured that this is indeed the transaction that we want to sign. So on our Trezor, we'll go ahead and hold it and we will successfully sign the transaction. If the transaction has already been initialized, we can just do the same thing without the untrusted flag. And now you've just saved $50 million.